Okay, <clears throat> so guys, in this video, I'll show you how to assemble everything in that template file that I sent you yesterday. Um, so this is the file right here, project02template.ai. It's an Adobe Illustrator file. So I sent that to you guys through Canvas yesterday, so make sure you um, just download that and save it to your computer. So as you can see on here, There's a page for each one of the different things that you need to turn in. So two pages for thumbnails, page for final art, page for your written reflection. Okay. Um, so my recommendation is to work on your final art in separate uh, files. Okay. So this is its own document here called comp01.ai. Uh, so that's the one you saw me do the demo of. Here is another one, comp02.ai. Okay. So these are both Illustrator files. If you try and work on everything here. Um, it will just turn into a really big document and then your Illustrator is much more likely to crash if there's too much stuff going on in here. Okay, so uh, this is done. Make sure you save it. File save. Um, make sure you're hitting that file save or control S every five to ten minutes so you don't lose too much work. Alright, so I'm going to select this just by drawing a box around it and then hit uh, command C or control C if you are on um, PC for copy. So control C, then go over to this new document, the template document, hit control V. All right, so there that is. So I'm just going to put this, I'm going to zoom in with command plus or control plus if you're PC, and just drag this over here to one of the final art pages. All right, so this was pretty much good to go. Um, it's Don't have it turned um, sideways like this, even if it would fit better. Um, it's still better to have it all horizontal so I'm not like needing to rotate it when I review it or turn my head sideways so just have all the artwork facing that same direction alright so there's that one here's my composition number two select all that hit control C for copy control V for paste and I will just move this over to the other final art artboard Alright, so make sure when you do resize it, if you want it to be bigger, you hold shift as you do this. If I don't hold shift, it might get squished like that. You do not want your artwork to get squished or stretched in a way you don't intend it to. Okay, there's that. Um, now I'm just going to put my thumbnail sketches there. So you guys have your um, files already. If you use them for the critique or if you uh, added more on there, you can um, take another picture of your artwork. So I'll drop that on there for one of them, and this art one on there as well. Okay, again, just dragging this down to the thumbnail page. I'll resize it so it's a little smaller and fits in there better. Same with this one. Hold Shift as I drag to resize it. Okay. So if you don't need, you might have all of your thumbnail sketches be able to fit on one artboard. Um, I'll show you how to delete one of those artboards in just a sec. Um, just remember, anytime you drop an image file into here, click this embed button right here, embed. Same with this one. Any sort of image file you drop in, hit embed. As you notice, for these ones, since they're not image files, I don't need to embed those. Okay. Um... Okay, a few notes on the text tool. So that is this one right here, or type tool. You can just hit the letter T to switch to that type tool. Zoom in. And you just need to go in here and replace uh, this with your name. So you can switch to that type tool and just click right on there, and it should just give you access to that type. And once you're done, hit Escape. Okay. Switch back to my type tool, click right on there, type my name, you notice once you're inside this type box too, it does give you uh, the ability to change your font up here and change the size. This Myriad Pro at 12 is um, will work fine for this project. Um, just make sure any sort of text that you put in this document is all the same. Um, same font and the same size as well. 
Okay, so uh, here for your reflection, I would suggest typing your reflection in either Google Docs or Microsoft Word. It's much better in those programs, um, catching any sort of spelling or grammar mistakes. So I'll just open my Google Docs to any document I have. You just hear some text from my email. Um, so when it, after you type your reflection, just highlight it, hit Control C for copy. And then um, what works best with this type tool is to draw a box with this. So this is all drawing a box that the text will fit inside. And Illustrator automatically fills it up with this weird gibberish words. Um, so you can just delete that. And now I'm going to hit Control V to paste my own text in there. Okay. Once I say this is good, I hit escape and I can then move this around and resize it um, to make sure it fits in there. And once I highlight this, I see it is that same mirrored pro 12 point um, font there. Escape, I'm done with that. Um, so I'll just show you guys how to delete an artboard just in case you need to do that. So let's say you can fit all your thumbnails on one page or one artboard. That would be completely fine if that works for your art. Um, so you would just want to delete this entire artboard. So in order to do that, you need your artboard panel, which is under Window, Artboards. Window, Artboards. Okay. So this shows you all five of your artboards, and to see which one is which, just double-click on it. So there's artboard one, two, three, and so on. So we want to get rid of artboard two. Very easy. Just like your layers panel, you can make a new artboard here or delete your artboard. So I just highlight artboard two, hit delete. Then I can delete this text as well. All right. So now this is basically ready to go for presentation. Um, got your final artwork in there, sketches and written reflection. In the next video, I will show you how to save this as a PDF file. Um, and get it ready to submit to Canvas.